Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the LibGBX Jam. The LibGBX Jam required developers to use LibGBX, an engine, to create their game, as well as to follow the theme Life in Space. There were 83 games entered in this jam, and playing each one for about a minute, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out. All my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting, and at the end of this I'll probably have an article of my favorites out soon. Thank you. Next. We're playing the game Exterminate. Oh, Generating World. Okay. It's still on the mouse, so I can't pause and wait for the world to generate. Alright. Oh, wow. This is the world. You've been exterminated. But, but I didn't even see anything happen yet. Wow. I don't know where the people are, though. How do I kill people, and how have they killed me? Oh, this is cool. We're, like, on the ground now. Alright, there we go. There we go. We just had to get closer to this place. I guess I go, please drown. So I get more energy by killing more things, and that's why I was dying. Ugh, I fell into the world. Next! We're playing Galaxy Con. It's like. Alright. So we've got like all these places and planets. Alright, some of you guys go over this way, maybe? How do I make you go places? Hmm. It says a drag and drop between like half of the planets or something should make them move. A drag and drop thing. Gesture. Huh. I played around with it and I figured it out. You select a planet and you sort of. I don't know, like. Like that. So you select a planet and then kind of drag them over and get them. Move back up to that planet, sir. There too. There we go. Oh, they took over that plant though while we were waiting. I don't really get this drag and drop thing, but occasionally I get it to work. Let's get that little planet so it won't produce things to go kill the other planet, you know? Oh, the purple guys are coming. Quite fun, actually. These guys can handle themselves, I bet. Ooh. Next, we're playing Space Sweeper. Alright. So we're clearing out paths for an astronaut, basically. That's a power up. We should have sent out an astronaut. There we go. You know what? These rocks getting towards the space station. Or those bits of it. But it's okay because we can send out the astronaut to get things. Oh, I think we actually lost the astronaut. That's okay though. How do we get those little bits? Can we set on a new astronaut? No. Looks like that's it. <laughs> Break the little pieces up. I like the graphics. They're really cute. Can't believe we lost our astronaut, though. That sucks. <laughs> Next. We're playing SEGDX. Um, I don't think this game's gonna do well in the Let's Play that I'm going to do, the one minute Let's Play, because it's got quite a bit of um, instructions, so we'll just see. You're being drafted. The Arboros Empire has sent their recruiters to fetch up anyone in their vicinity. I'm sure if you pay them, they will look the other way. So let's pay. Maybe some other time. Alright. Gossip. Event gossip. Find out what's happening. There's work. Uh, collect. Collect. 
door, has approached you and asked about your ship. He m mentions that he's been looking for it for a very long time after his small fortune requirements, your father's ship. All right, let's complete it. You are rich. Who cares if the ship is your father's? Game over. You sold your father's ship. <laughs> oh, maybe it's perfect. Maybe it's a short game. Well, let's do a medium, please. All right, we'll pay the draft. Let's skill, maybe. Extract. Use. Why don't you go here? Ship. Alright. Work. We don't want to work. Let's travel. Awesome. Resources. No ships available. So we can install stuff. I don't know how much money we have. Probably somewhere, but you know. Resources. Let's sell this crap. <laughs> Next. We're playing Alien Ark. Hello, this is Atori on Toe speaking. Let me help you getting into this life in space. Navigate your ship using cursor keys, WSD, travel to mark planets to its orbit, avoid falling into the star. Alright, what planets marked? I like the graphic of my ship. Oh wait, you're marked. You look very marked. Enter. We'll enter your orbit. You look beautiful, planet. All of these graphics are actually pretty cool. This is your first flight. Who gave you a rocket to begin? To a beginner. Anyway, let's make the best out of it. I'll show you the basics of modern space flying control. Simply use cursor keys to change the direction. Alright, let's go towards this S, maybe. This S probably means safe to land. Take a look at the mini map. It shows you the planet portal to. It shows you the planet portal to leave the planet and the nearest artifact from your current position. Fly this artifact using your new flight skills. Oh, I missed the E because of it. It's, how do I know if it's an artifact? Oh, that looks cool. All right. I wish I kind of went a little bit faster, but it did say that this version was laggy. The graphics are really neat though, it's a shame it just doesn't go a bit faster. I wanna try to get this thing. I'm not sure what it is. It might be fuel maybe. Nothing happened. Alright. Next. We're playing Earth Defense. Let's start. Probably should have hit help. Alright, so I'm guessing we're building defenses for Earth. Like a main, this is probably a good defense. Ooh. I don't know if that is water, maybe. Yeah, it didn't seem to kill. Oh, bombs are important, though. Playing Living Space, there was a bit of an intro. It kind of went away. Alright, we're just gonna fight. It was like some reading that happened. I didn't even get a chance to read it, I was just setting stuff up. It's weird, they're coming up behind me. I'm gonna get some money though. I didn't realize there were so many octopuses in space. Oh, another one. We'd like to stay towards the middle, really. Alright, we've got basically nothing, but what are our upgrades? Cash three. Okay. Guess we'll go back to fighting. Oh, we've got some different sea creatures now. Oh, I died. That's how many you get for like. I figured I'd have three lives again. I'm probably gonna cough in a minute. I apologize in advance. 
<coughs> ah, sorry. Some of the stars in the background are quite big. Yes, hello, Kiwi. I need to kill way more octopuses to get faster, really. All these guys get way more money. Can actually afford to buy stuff now. I'm doing great. Next, when we're playing all of the Android based games on my Nexus 7 tablet, the first one we're we'll playing is X Pong. Play versus a computer. Oh, oh. I, I, oh, I can do that flippy thing. Alright, so we need to tilt to control and it can like volleyball it almost. Like, bam! Like that. The computer is a bit slow. Boom! It's in the right spot that time. Ugh. I like the idea of like being able to volleyball, like hit the ball. Almost spike it, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, so depending on which side you hit it at, depends on how it spikes it. Boom. Neat. I kind of want to win pinball, or pinball, pong for once, but... Ah. Ah, yes, tied. Next. Thank you, Google. We're playing Orbit. Yes, yes, I know you, you think I picked you, but I didn't. I picked Orbit. Great apps. Alright, tap to slow down ship. Orbit. He's gonna die, probably. But I wanted to try to catch Star, but... Ah. Okay, we've already sucked. So we can buy stuff with stars. That looks like leaderboards or achievements or something I probably don't care about. Because it opened up a tab outside of the game. Ah, we didn't get the star. We can come. Ah. Yay, we got one. It's going to take a lot to get enough to actually do something. 50. 50 to unlock a ship. It's a very nicely made, simple Android game. Ugh. Very challenging, though. Okay. It's how much you want to get the stars versus how much you're willing to almost get hit. Ugh, and it takes quite a bit of thinking ahead. If only the stars gave you a bit more than one so you could get... Um... Get stuff a bit easier. Ah, do one more. Darn, that was like our worst one. So let's try one more. One more. I'm not sure what that noise is that it makes. Yay! We got two stars. Ah, 13 again. Next, we're playing Trouble with Tribbles? Tribbles? Trouble with Tribbles. Trouble with Tribbles. Alright, new game. Select gameplay type. Classic. Level 1. I have no idea how to play this game. Not gonna lie. Oh, are we just connecting these up? There we go. Probably need uh Google. Not like a middle button for Google thing. That's cool. So there's just lots of like little troubles going like spawning in and we just have to get rid of them when they're all together. Yeah yeah, they make little noises. Well we need more than two, don't we? Yay! A really high 
that's going though, so that's not good. Not good at all. It's getting quite close to the top. Oh, I got rid of all the orange. Perfect. I got rid of quite a few green, maybe? And red. Then we'll just get rid of blue. Beautiful. We saved that. I used to play tons of games like this when I was younger. I used to tap the bottom bar to watch it load up, like I used to get the screen really filled, and then I'd tap everywhere to let them all go away. Yeah. 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 You guys are so cute. Next, we're playing Life in Space, although it's Search for Life in Space on its page. Welcome to the Search for Life in Space FSLS companion app. We appreciate your interest in our search for life beyond Earth and want you to thank you for our help us on our mission. To use this app, make sure your volume is up. Tap a star on the star map to listen to the radio signals for that star. You want to use the various signal filters to help you determine if, there is sig if the signal is embedded in the noise. To find anything of note or have any questions, please report it to the website. Oh, this looks like something that's real. So we're seriously trying to like, search for life in these stars. Oh, it just sounds like noise to me. Oh, that, that doesn't sound like noise. Okay. Thank you. For months we have been trying to communicate with people from your planet, but your governments have been blocking our communications. It seems they are trying to prevent any knowledge of us from reaching the public. Are you in a relatively private place? This is so weird, because I went to look it up, like, look at their website, and it totally looks like a realistic website, like a, a thing that's looking for aliens. This is pretty cool, actually. It makes you feel like you're actually talking to aliens. It seems that we are safe to communicate further. We are looking for a person who... Oh. All right. Intelligence agency. Our monitoring network has detected that you have been in contact with some sort of intelligent alien life. I don't know if you realize this, but uh, this is a violation of the Copenhagen International Space Communications Treaty of 1994. Oh, is it? It's prohibited for any non-government personnel to communicate with any sort of alien intelligence. We order that you cease all communications immediately. Any uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, this is a really cool game. I'm going to have to spend some time playing that. Um, I'm going to play Coin Ship, but I switched the orientation, so one sec. Last, but certainly not least, we're playing Coin Ship. Coin Ship. Oh, a little bunny popped up. Alright. Coin. Coin. 
that location is locked. Little coin, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Seems to be a bit slow for me. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Just got like a coin on the screen. Oh wait, that's how it jumps? Oh, oh but it kind of jumps between planets. Alright, so you play as a coin, you must collect life from planets below to unlock your ship. Or now. It told me, it suggested that I play the Android version, so I did. But I don't want to just fall. We'll just fall and then let ourselves come back up and then move over. I don't know how. On the desktop version, version apparently, there's a jump. But this jump just seems to take us back to the menu. So that, that can't be right, right? I'm supposed to just be catching water pieces in a pot and catching seeds and stuff and just bringing them back to my planet. I don't seem to be finding anything now. That was a good little jump. This one probably not gonna make it. Just don't quite get what to do. Here should be all like the pots and plants, I guess, and seeds. But I don't know. Anyway, this is the last game, so thank you very much for watching. An article of my favorite should be out in Fireside shortly. And thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting. This is it. Bye.